Psalm 52 reads as a psalm written in anger. And we get the explanation for that right at the beginning. For the choir director, a psalm of David regarding the time Doeg the Edomite told Saul that Ahimelech had given refuge to David. This refers to a desperate time in David's life when King Saul had taken against him and had declared that David was to die. David ran for his life. He had nothing with him, no weapons, just a couple of friends, and he ran initially to the priest's house. He went to priest Ahimelech and asked if he had any weapons, if he had any food. Ahimelech gave him Goliath's sword that he had stored there, and he also gave him some bread. But David was seen, seen by this man Doeg, who went back to King Saul and reported on what he'd seen. That resulted in Saul tracking down the priest and killing him as he went on to look for David. You can imagine why David was so angry. You call yourself a hero, do you? Why boast about this crime of yours, you who have disgraced God's people? All day long you plot destruction. Your tongue cuts like a sharp razor. You're an expert at telling lies. You love evil more than good and lies more than truth. You love to say things that harm others, you liar. But God will strike you down once and for all. He will pull you from your home and drag you from the land of the living. Yeah, he's angry. And he's got good reason. Innocent people died because of what Doeg did. And David was very nearly tracked down by Saul. But God was on David's side and God protected him. And so David starts to reflect upon that. First of all, he reflects upon how good people see this situation. The righteous will see it and be amazed. They will laugh and say, Look what happens to mighty warriors who do not trust in God. They trust their wealth instead and grow more and more bold in their wickedness. Now you can look and see how it doesn't do them any good. So what about David himself? He's out there on his own. Who can he rely on? Well, he can rely on God. And he's found that God is his firm refuge, as he so often said, a rock for him to stand on. He describes himself differently here, and I like his description. But I am like an olive tree, thriving in the house of God. I trust in God's unfailing love forever and ever. I will praise you forever, O oh God, for what you have done. I will wait for your mercies in the presence of your people. Like an olive tree thriving in the house of God. He's got firm roots down in the presence of God. And whatever happens to him, whatever circumstances throw at him, he knows he can stand firm because he is there planted in the presence of God. O oh Lord, 
when circumstances rock us, even when bad things happen to us that seem to be overwhelming. Lord, we know that we can hold tight to you. Our roots are driven firm down deep into your love. We belong to you. Amen.